Okay, I would like to apologize to everyone that had to hear the horrible, horrible, like, audio, uh, recording, but... Hindsight and a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, that I could have avoided. But no! Wait, fuck, I was watching the videos before, and all the, the parts that I was interested in and seeing myself where I was screaming and yelling. Oh, it just had to get muffled! Thanks! Fucking piece of shit. Anyways, welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Guys. Sorry for the lateness. We're gonna do the final battle, and there is... One worn-out body is, laid, is quietly laid. In his head, a familiar voice speaks. Will, it's me, old man, your father. He's an old man. My body has decayed, but I live on like this. Fireball behind my ass. Father, where are you in that form? There's a strange room in a Tower of Babel filled with the light of the comet. Time goes so fast that people there evolve very quickly. Yeah, it's sad. Why are Kara and I able to live? Because you two are evolved humans. Us? Oh, Father, long ago there existed biological technology using the light of the comet. People freely use the power to make plants and animals. For example, they made the camel. It can go for a long period of time without food or water. By the way, the music's pretty uh, sad. When people realized the power could be used as a weapon, demons were developed. The world was on the brink of ruin. At that time, the knights of darkness and light were developed to decide the fate of humanity. They are your ancestors. The six mystic statues were made by the knights. The last mystic statue is entrusted to you. I pick a great spot to stand, didn't I? Yeah, we do, we just get it, but you know, after beating us several bosses. Also, I'm kind of disappointed. I was kind of expecting to hear like a remix of uh, the Soul Blazer boss fight theme during that uh, boss fight. Soon the comet will be very close. By, uh, by then, the two of you must go to the roof of the tower. Close your eyes. Cheap transition, but, you know, whatever. We're so close to it. The ancestors worshipped the comet as a spirit. Those who bathed in the comet's light were given a strange power. The comet is called the spirit, but it's an unwelcome spirit. Evolving too fast brings destruction. As long as people have evil hearts, demons will be born. Will, open your eyes and look around. <laughs> Kind of like mutants. Dot dot dot. I need to talk to you. Hamlet! There he is! He's still alive! Of course there's no difference between humans and animals. With my body gone, I became forever young. From the comet's light, I gained immortality. But there is but is there meaning in eternal life? I felt more alive when I had terminal disease. Ah, all the sad stuff happens here. Ah, Will, it's been a long time. Such a world. If I could talk of this at an academy, I'd be a great scholar. Oh, don't worry about that. And there's the earth in the background. Neil's father. Neil, what are you doing? I want him to make the co world company grow bigger and bigger. Neil's mother. Even if I can, even if I can see the real world, I can't touch it. Very sad and depressing. No matter how difficult it may get, I can't help you. The time is near. Everyone, give Will your power. And turn it into the spirit gun. When Will and Kara joined and became one, with the light knight, a great power was born. Jeez, that could have went wrong. I mean, they're only like 15 years old or something. 12 or 15. The knights were brought forth. The dark knight, the dark knight's ultimate power. Hey, you shut the hell up. You and your dirty thought. The Firebird from Soul Blazer was released. They gave birth to the Phoenix. Not the Down Phoenix, because then it would have Down Syndrome. This is the only time Shadow actually has a cool power, which is not original, unfortunately. Your battle will change the fate of humanity. Now you must go to the Comet. And then we have this long, long drawn scene. 
I wish you could kind of move just for the sake of moving it, because it's, it's just you going up to the comet. It's kind of cool for like about 10 seconds, 15 maybe, but just... Do I see a butt crack? I always thought he was flying like from the side. Ah yeah, is that what music I used in that one review? And I see a face on the ground. And you know what? I never saw it as a when I was playing it on Super Nintendo. It's weird. I keep seeing all these things on like uh on the uh emulator. And no, that's not the final boss. No, you'll see. You only do three damage. I mean, it makes sense, but it's just that this is so slow. Yeah, so equip the Aurora Ball Reality, and then just like dive when it looks like it's about to hit you. He doesn't open his mouth until you're ready to attack. How nice of him! I'm sure you can't block it, by the way. Now reveal your true form, your final form! Jeez, this guy fights almost exactly like the final boss in the, in the final level. Yeah, we can't block that laser attack, but we can block that and we hit these things, which have a very weird sound. I was supposed to block that, but obviously I screwed up. So this looks like uh, if Gaia, if like, if Gaia was a female. Uh, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay in the center because it's the best spot. But uh, this this fight is kind of a joke. It has an epic music, but it's really a joke. I mean, the first time in Soul Blazer, it was an alright fight because there was a there was a chance that you could die. But here, just block, dodge, and and turn to uh, uh, turn to uh, and turn melt in the slob. And there's the Earth from the title screen. And that boss fight was just a joke. Really, it is. I guess you could say most of the other bosses are jokes too. What's happened to the comet? That glowing green planet. I guess it's kind of green. I hope the audio doesn't fuck up for this, because this is a pretty good moment. The comet's power has disappeared. The evil star has flown off to the other side of the universe. So we just knocked it out of orbit. Will. Do you know what planet that is glowing there in the darkness of the light? Our Earth? Oh God! Not that I, not that I, uh, I'm I'm reading the way that it's being paced. It's kind of retarded. That's right, our Earth. I thought time goes by super fast. So why is it taking so long for the tech? Doesn't it look like a desert oasis? It never seems so beautiful. I'm gonna have a drink. But it looks lonely, shiny. In the dark. Strange voice. Yes, the world is awakened. Oh, I wonder who this is. Mother? Why, yes it is! The Earth? A mother with millions of children. Eh, I'm sure you think about us sometimes, and Kara often thinks about her parents. is the same way. She gets lonely if her children forgets about her. God, now it's making me a feeling a little depressed. 
Will's father, how is it, you two? Looking at the world you live in from the outside. I just had a horrible thought right here. I'm not gonna say it because I know some bastard's gonna do it. It's as if we'd become spirits. Spirit away. I want to show all of our group. No, I want to show everyone in the world. You know, this would have been great if I was about to go to sleep. Granted that it's a moment, but it's just too damn slow. Someday, people will build ships to travel the universe. Eh, they're still working on that. Then they will see this green earth with their own eyes. Well, in that case, then it's just out to space. See how lonely the earth looks? Just like the two of you. Look carefully at your map of the world. Ah! The map has started to change! It makes no sense! But let's look anyways, because it's pretty cool. I wonder is there like a subtle message somewhere in this map? taking shape, and it kind of looks almost like... Holy sh... Holy schlock, it looks like our Earth! Somehow the land has taken on a strange shape. I tell him to shut the hell up, but uh, it's kind of thing. Will's father, that's the new world. Australia is looking a little down there. And Japan apparently doesn't exist. New world? Who's father? You might say that one little part... Ugh, it's hard to show you that, but that one little part might be Japan, but nah. Of evolution changed by comment has continued until now. The Earth, too, has a life. It, too, has evolved and changed its shape. Save the world! Now that the comet has no influence on the world, it's returned to its original condition. So basically the comet was like McDonald's, or something on that level. Basically, he's been playing Civilization when he died. Maybe people would call this kind of body a spirit. Now, you and Kara can become ordinary children again. Don't be afraid. When we return to Earth, will we be separated? Yeah, this part's kind of sad. I didn't realize what the ending was actually about until I read it up on Wikipedia. And, oh, oh God. Yes, the world is changing. Humanity and history has started down a new path. You too thought nothing of it when you met each other in South Cape. But when the Earth needed the light and dark nights, you met again unexpectedly. It was all the, about the destiny. Let's look at the world before the power. 
power of the comet is extinguished. We hope you two have a bright future. sound drunk. I want to burn you into my memory and set your heart, kickstart your heart and set it on fire. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your hair, your voice, not gonna say something dirty, the warmth of your hand. My hands are pretty cold. Or they're the first to go. Don't Worry. I will search you out. No matter how long it takes, hundreds of years, you'd be dead. Thousands of years, you'd be dead ten times. I will come to you. So take care. Close your eyes. Will! Is she actually gonna close her eyes? Because Will has his eyes closed. Let's go to Earth. second there, it kind of looked like something Eric Shahi would have done, but not really. The Earth's look had changed, but glowing in the sky, it was as beautiful as ever. Buildings replaced the forest, rivers became roads, but the villages held only smiling faces. Yeah, and then they built casinos and strip clubs. But the Earth was the only one that looked sad. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? It had, like, a salt on its head and, like, what was it? Metallic stuff on it. Tomorrow morning, Kara and I will start our new lives. Almost sounds like a school theme kind of thing. Tower of Battle stands tall as if it knows the whole future of the Earth. I'm trying to think here. Metallic implants. Man, good thing that. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's, let's just not ruin this anymore. Hey, I see the school on the bottom. I never noticed that. That's because I never sat that close to the damn TV. The Illusion of Gaia! Staff! I bet you two is just gonna be like, Oh, you don't own the rights to this. No, the, the, the thing for you. But that's not important right now. Our friends, they returned with us. Yes, that's set comes back alive. Original story. Mariko Ohara. Good job, man. Good job. Or woman. Mariko? Oh, no. Yeah. Good job. Whoever wrote it. Character design. Moto Hakio. Sounds like Hakito. And slowly they all die off. Or 
maybe you will just run it really fast. Actually, I think that's the only time you ever see the running animation. Game designer. Tomoyoshi Miyazaki. Another Miyazaki? Jeez! There's Kara at Edward Castle. I think it's a recap, actually. Program director. Masaya Hashimoto. Pretty good. And, you know, it, it'd be sad, kind of, like, if they did, like, a recap thing. Like, it'd be emotionally sad. But this is fine. This is okay. Main pro program. Program. Akira. Kata no Hara. Oh, good job. Must have been the nightmare to make all that thing happen. Background designer. Isashi Yokota. Yokota. And we find Lily. Wait, Howard did have a running animation. Why didn't they fucking use that when I was running? Object designer. Junichi Ishida and Toshi Adiga. Lazy assholes. Everyone had a running animation and didn't use it. Graphic designer. Now goes Suzuki. Taka. Takahiro Okura. Koji Yokota. There's the dark space. It looks it looks like a weird like Star Fox 3D or Super FX 3D effect. Sound composer. Yasuhiro Kawasaki. By the way, Will, I hate your jump attack. It only does like one point of extra damage. It's not that special. Psycho Dash, it's awesome. English text by Scott Helen, Tim Rodney, Robert L. Gerard. Good job to all of you for translating this awesome game. Oh, that's the Incant Ruins. Damn, from this perspective, it looks a lot different. Title Coordinator, Eric Kokoma. Get a coma. Yes, this video is going to be a little long. Bear with it. Quintil. Quintstab. T. Hashimoto. S. Kita. K. Sugaya. T. Sura. R. Takibayashi. And this is when they were trapped in the water. Hey, there's the rap. The other stab. M. Suruno. Y. Sashida, M. Obayashi. Hey! Someone's been watching Planet. Oh no, technically it didn't even exist at this point, but Kobayashi. Enix Staff, Yukinobi Chida, Keiji Honda, Yasuyuki Son, or Sone. Hot Luck, Art Direction, Hideki Yamamoto. Takashi Otsuka. Technical support. Saro Yahara Yahagi. Kenjiro. Kenjiro Kano. Oh, and there's Frieza. Wow, it looks a lot better uh, in concept art, actually. Enix American Staff. Suno Morita, Paul Bowler. Oh, this is where we recover Lance's memory. Yeah, I guess it is a recap. Just a little more subtle. Well, not really. Enix American Staff, Paul Handelman, Jake Kazdal. Special thanks to Dan Olsen and Hiro Yamada. I know how to spell Yamada in its original text or symbol. Not, not quite in Japanese. Special thanks to H. Roto and Shijino Kuwabara? <laughs> Sumata Saka. Sasaki Suginaka. Kuwabara made this game? Fucking A. That's awesome. Kakizawa Ara Wakabayashi. Yeah, so we went through the desert. Blown on a plane. Hey, where's Neil? 
watch it, it's just gonna pop up. <laughs> there we go. Masaya Hashimoto. Good job, director. Hey, we just jumped immediately to the Tower of Babel. There's Grandpa Lola and Grandpa Phil. Or, did I say Grandpa Lola? Grandma Lola. My bad. My bad. There's Kara's parents. Frick King. Kazunori Takato. There's Lance's father, who regained his memory, thankfully. And the vampire duel. Producer. Producer. Shinji Futami. And there's a. Uh, the Village of Angels? There's that guy from Watermont. There's Neil's parents. Yasuhiro Fukushima. And then there's those two guys that just tell us where to go, which is... Those guys were weird. There's the natives. Copyright. 1994 Enix, 1994... Quintel. Quintex. Whatever. There's, uh, oh, the city of Dao. And there's the jackal who was underplayed in this entire game. Copyright. 994 Mariko Ohara. 1994 Moto Hagio. 1994 Yasuhiro Kawasaki. Uh, YouTube's gonna be like, oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. License to Nintendo. License this awesome adventure. I mean, it's not the greatest game in the world, but you know, it holds a special place in my uh, heart. Thank you for playing, and thank you, Wizworld 100, for LPing it. Do they bow? That'd be a waste of an animation just for this part. Do you want me to press a button or something? Okay. Or, no. Now we see the aftermath of all that. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're in modern school. That's a pretty bad bell sound effect, I gotta admit. Class is over. But yeah, that's... It looks like they're in Earthbound, and Will's in the... That's some weird clothing for Will. Please be careful crossing the street. I wish you could play, like, just a little bit of this. Kind of like a little tech demo. We have had a lot of traffic accidents lately. I guess Will was in detention or something. End. The end. So, that's Illusion of Gaia for the Super Nintendo. Or Illusion of Time. Whichever one you played it, they're both awesome. It's an awesome adventure game of epic proportions, and I like it a lot. And I urge you all to play it to experience it yourself. So, until the next LP, stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching! Also, I'm stuck at the screen, so I'm just gonna end the video.